10 more minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out and then come back. All right, so this is the outcome. This packet, I didn't think that it was going to be enough and sure enough, it was not enough for me. So right now I'm doing a deep condition with the ORS replenishing conditioner because I still need to go back in and bleach my hair again. So I need to go back to Sally's and get another pack of that. And then I'll tone my hair after. So I have to go in one more time. Okay guys, so this is the following day and this is what my hair looks like. So what I did was this morning after I dropped my kids off, I went to Sally's Beauty Supply because they opened at around nine o'clock. And I went back to pick up another pack of the Quick Blue bleach. I also picked up another 30 developer because I wasn't sure if I had enough for the second application. Um, and I picked up the Color Brilliance Neon Bright Ion Flamingo um, Primer. So I picked this up just as an alternative. So I came back to the house and I started to bleach those areas that were, um, really didn't take too well or were a little bit more grassy. And um, this side bleached beautifully, which was my right side. But my left side, because I followed the instructions uh, from the lady at Sally's who actually was a cosmetologist, um, she said to make the formula a lot more moussey or a lot more thicker. That way it's not running into the sections of where I don't want bleach. So I was like, okay, well that makes sense. So I came home and I put the entire packet um, in the mixing bowl and then I used 1.5 ounces of the developer which was what I had left so I mixed that up and I started on this side so by the time I was done applying the bleach on this side and applying um, where I needed it in the front I didn't have that much for the left side and that's why the left side I feel like it didn't take as much because I didn't go as heavy as I did on my right side um, so I'm going to turn around and show you guys the difference between the left and the right. So as you can see, the left side is a lot darker than the right side, but for right now, it is manageable. So if I were to slick my hair down, the you don't see the brown inside of the left side um, because my hair covers that, but I decided to um, put in the pink color so what I'm going to do is in the next week or two weeks, I am actually going to get another bleach and just focus it in this area and just touch up if I need to in certain areas. My areas that, were, that weren't as ashy, I guess, um, it didn't take as well. It gave it kind of like that coppery goldish color, rose color, which is fine but it just kind of looks a little bit patchy, a little bit all over the place, especially like right in this area. Like it really didn't take too well, only in the, um, only in the areas that were pretty much really bright. So those areas that were really bright, you can kind of see, um, especially like on my sides, like right here, it's a little bit more pastel-y. Um, maybe I shouldn't have mixed the color with conditioner, but I figured that I would dye my hair and deep condition it at the same time. And I, when I squeezed the color out of the tube, it was like really, really bright. And then when I went on Google to see some pictures of people that had the same color in their hair, it was just too bright and I didn't want my hair that bright. So that's why I diluted it with some um, conditioner. So you do have any questions on, um, any of the products that I use. I will say though, I wouldn't get these little packs because it took two packs and I still needed an extra pack to get my hair fully oh, colored. Oh. That's the only advice that I have. But yeah, this is the outcome of my hair bleaching dyeing process. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, and thank you for going on this experience with me. And if you like videos like these, definitely give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.